Greetings from ABC Acres. I'm Grant Shadden, and I'm once again here next to our rocket mass heater in our workshop to talk about how to fuel your rocket mass heater or your wood stove, fireplace, whatever it is you have for wood heat in your home or shop um, using a regenerative agroforestry management practice called coppicing. So in this case, coppiced fuel wood. And coppicing is the practice where you cut down a tree and not just any tree, but specifically trees that will re-sprout once they've been cut. So you cut it down uh, anywhere from two to six, eight inches from the ground, usually on the shorter side of things, you're going closer to the ground and uh, that way you're pushing the root growth down and out of the tree, but it also allows space for these trees to re-sprout. And so when you get that stress, that stimulus, the tree will respond by re-sprouting these new shoots or branches. And there's a lot of benefits to this, but for our sake, in this instance with fuel wood, this is a way where we can reduce, minimize, or even uh, eliminate splitting wood. Because we can manage our fuel wood tree systems in such a way where we allow them to grow to three to four inches in diameter, those branches, before coming back again and cutting them down. And then just cutting them up to the lengths that we need uh, for us in this, it's about a 16 inch long uh, piece of wood to fit in our batch box in our rocket mass heater. So some of the basics here, say we cut, for our example, we're gonna say a black locust. Now there's uh, several different coppicing species. You can look those up, but some are black locust, thornless honey locust, um, mulberries, willow, ash, uh, hackberry, There's, the list goes on and on. And we encourage you, if you're interested, to look into that further. Uh, around here at ABC Acres, we like uh, black locust, thornless honey locust, mulberry. We have a lot of willow in uh, the floodplains and uh, some different spots that also coppice extremely well. And uh, we're gonna talk about black locust because it has such a high uh, BTU output and is very fast growing in our environment and it is in most environments. It also fixes nitrogen in the soil and has all these other benefits but I want to focus on just the function of it as fuel wood for our purposes. So when you're cutting down say your black locust tree you want to cut it at an angle once again few inches from the ground, let's say, so that water can shed off. And then you're usually doing this somewhere around late fall to early spring. And then you're going to have this regrowth phase happen where it encounters this stress of getting cut down. And so it responds through accelerated photosynthesis and growth. And you'll have several sprouts come out. And say we, we uh, did it uh, late fall, and so the next fall, the following year, we're gonna come back and we're gonna take out the weakest ones and just leave, say, six to eight of the strongest with, uh, with decent space in between them, allowing that space for those to grow. So we'll clip out the other ones. You can use them as mulch. You could feed them to livestock. Uh, you could use those smaller branches for kindling wood in your, your wood uh, heat uh, source. But we're going to allow these to grow until they reach three to four inches in diameter. And then once again, we'll just cut right above that point again. We'll come down and we'll cut after they've grown. We can limb them up and we have this fantastic regenerative source of fuel wood. Now, you could plant 
a row along a property line or where you might want a windscreen and you could have your own sustainable source where every every other year or so you're going and you're harvesting half of them maybe you have it staggered out to where as one's growing you've cut another one down and so you just have this every other pattern there's there's so many different ways to manage this and it really depends on your context but you could always have then these different trees in different regrowth phases and this is a long-term regenerative practice there are coppiced uh, agroforestry systems in Europe centuries old I mean these individual trees centuries old when normally their life cycle may be 100 120 years they're far outliving their natural uh, if they were just left in the wild life cycle because this coppice management practice keeps them in more of a uh, youthful juvenile stage so they continually grow they're continually harvested and you have this great cycle so this could be generation upon generation of not just sustainable but regenerative uh, fuel wood and there's all these other benefits to a system like this as well that I'm not going to get into um, but this alone could lend to in a small footprint right along a property line you could have your own sustainable fuel source and then come up with your own unique creative ways to use any of the residuals black locust leaves are great for livestock feed they have nitrogen uh, rich leaves and branches for mulch as well as I said before and so we have planted many many black locust trees on the property uh, for several reasons one being these future uh, coppiced fuel wood sources we're a couple years out of being able to start harvesting some of them we've only had them in the ground for a couple of years but they are already um, at we bought them at about one year old um, little bare root whips and so they've been uh, in the ground for two years so they're about three years old and we've got some that are beginning to push that two and a half three inch diameter so for us we're looking at you know five year roughly cycle really depending on the different tree but where we could cut have our fuel wood for our rocket mass heater and come back and be able to do it again well if you have any questions please put them in the comment section below and as always thanks for watching <music>